Hey everybody, welcome to my Subaru, and I want to tell you a little story called Good News, Bad News. Many years ago, a small farm uh, had a guy who was very poor, but he happened to have a horse. In fact, it was the most valuable possession. And one day, that horse got away and ran away, and all the townspeople came to this farmer and said, oh, farmer, what bad luck. You, your most valuable possession, uh, the, the horse by which you use to plow your farm is gone. What bad luck. And the farmer said, bad luck, good luck, who knows. Well, the next day that horse not only returned, but brought an entire herd of horses with him. And all the farmers gathered around his farm and looking at all the horses that were now his said, wow, what good luck. And the farmer looked at them and said, good luck, bad luck, who knows? Well, not long after that, while his son was training some of the horses, was bucked off his horse and fell and broke his leg. And all the people in the town came and surrounded the farmer and said, what bad luck, your son, who works your farm, who helps you, has broken his leg and now he can't even help you. And what bad luck. And he looked at all the people and said, bad luck, good luck, who knows. Well then, not long after that, the king sent some of his men to recruit every young man in the country to the army to fight a very important war. And guess what? This farmer's son was not able to go because he was mending from his broken leg. And all the people in town came and surrounded the farmer and said, what good luck. Your son does not have to go off to a war where he will likely die. And the farmer repeated, as he did every other time, good luck, bad luck, who knows? And so I tell you that story because I've got some news for you about my family. Uh, two days ago, my oldest son tested positive for COVID. He uh, moved back home temporarily because of uh, a living situation, but he continues to hold his job in Patterson. And he was, came in contact with his boss and his boss's wife, who just also tested positive for COVID. Uh, his boss, a pastor, made a call on a fireman, uh, meaning he went to, to counsel this fireman, uh, went into his home, and it's, it turns out this fireman also tested positive for COVID-19. And so my son, who's been living with us on and off for the last couple of weeks, um, has exposed all of us to COVID-19, and just yesterday, my wife tested positive for COVID-19. Um, good news, bad news. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see what God does. But there are implications because uh, I live with my wife, obviously, and my son is staying with me. Uh, the good news is that they are both doing really well. The symptoms are not really bad. Um, and so they have kind of a uh, little achiness in their body and uh, are laying in bed, eating soup, and um, looking at Facebook, watching Netflix, who knows, but they're, uh, they're not, uh, the symptoms are minor, and it looks like uh, that they will recover pretty quickly. So I got tested yesterday, uh, and I will get the results either tomorrow or Friday, but here are the implications. Uh, no matter whether I test positive or negative, and the good news is right now I have zero symptoms, I feel great, um, I have to uh, self-quarantine. Um, uh, and so what that means is uh, I have to contact anyone that I have been in close proximity for 15 minutes or more. And to my best recollection, I don't think anyone fits in that category in over a week. And so um, if you did have close contact with me and are concerned, uh, then I would encourage you to go ahead and get tested 
for your own peace of mind. Um, one of the other implications is I cannot uh, attend church for the next couple of weeks, and so I am working on a backup plan. Either you will get me via video, or you will get uh, someone uh, from a church I used to work at, Westgate Church, uh, who will come and speak uh, live for you guys. And so um, that's what's happening in my life, and obviously... I covet your prayers, and uh, but I also want to be clear, I do not want you to be overly anxious or worried about this. Um, I suspected and expected that at some point um, I would probably contact or contract COVID-19, and uh, all the data that I've taken in indicates that I will likely survive. Uh, and so that is my hope for my wife and for my son. Uh, I just got back from my other two sons being tested. Um, but the real bad news in all of this is that my wife and my oldest daughter and grandson were supposed to be arriving in Austin, Texas today to spend time with my almost 16-year-old daughter. And so that trip had to be canceled uh, for a later date until we all get a clean bill of health. And so, all that to say, um, continue to be careful. Uh, don't be uh, overly anxious about this. Um, but take reasonable precautions to protect yourself. But most importantly, to protect those and those of you who have underlying health issues and may be more susceptible and vulnerable to, uh, and greater risk of uh, health issues with COVID-19. So, um, God bless you guys. I love you all. And I am so bummed that I can't be at church for the next two Sundays. But know that I will be with you in spirit. And I will be watching the live stream online. And I know it's going to be good no matter what. Because God is in control. And God is good. And so we lean into that and trust Him with all of our hearts. And so may the Lord richly bless you. May he uh, turn his face towards you uh, and be gracious to you. Uh, and may he shine his face upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I love you all and we'll be in touch soon once I get the results of my test.